Hi guys. Have you ever wanted to find out a little bit more about the coaches at Do3, who we are, what our background is, why we got interested in the sport? Well, keep watching because we're just about to run a series of um, interviews where hopefully you'll get to know us a little bit more. First up, it's me. So my name is Dave Knight, I'm the founder and head coach of Do3 Coaching. Well, I um, joined the Air Force from school, I was five years in the Air Force before um, joining the police and I joined West Midlands Police and um, then moved on to Thames Valley. Um, it was during those times that I developed a, an interest in um, health and fitness. Um, and I did about um, 12, 13 years in the police before deciding to leave to start my own business. Now, the business I, I ran was called Red Lion Sports, which was a sports watch specialist. So we used to import um, the first kind of speed and distance units, speed and distance units that were on the market. So Timex GPS systems, uh, most people use Garmin's and things now, but it was Timex back in those days. Um, so, um, so that was Red Lion Sports. The business grew and it became a, a running specialist called Simply Run um, and continued to grow further still and I had become interested in triathlon in the time and we became a triathlon specialist it's called Discipline of Three. Now uh, Discipline of Three had a coaching element to it which is where the kind of um, where that was where, where the coaching side of things originated from. Um, Unfortunately, the business didn't work out very well in terms of the, well, the retail side anyway. So the retail side of the business was closed down. Um, and during that time, I discovered my interest for coaching and how much enjoyment I got out of that. So um, that's when I decided to go full time as a triathlon coach. So I've been fortunate enough to have sp spent some time with um, arguably two of the, the world's top coaches. Um, first of all, Brett Sutton, who I'm sure most of you will have heard of. Um, almost certainly the most successful triathlon coach in the history of the sport. So I spent some time in San Moritz and Fortaventura with Brett, um, being mentored by him and um, going through his coach development program um, so a lot of my coaching methods um, have been heavily heavily influenced by by Brett and the methods that he uses. Um, I was also selected by Adam Young and Paul Newsom to um, go to Perth to become a fully certified swim smooth coach. Um, so I spent a lot of time over there um, on poolside and going through then twelve or eighteen months going through their their coach development program. I think I must be one of the, if not the only coach in the world who is fully certified with Swim Smooth and Tri Sutto. So um, certainly influenced by both of those guys. Um, one thing I always think about in terms of influences though are was my time in the police. So I spent quite a lot of time in the police and obviously one of the things import that's important in the police is knowing how to communicate, knowing um, how to re read people's um, Body language, uh, their non-verbal communication. Um, it obviously pays to be a good communicator in the police, and um, you can get various different outcomes from situations in the police depending on how good you are at communicating. So, um, I always think that I've gained more skills as a coach through being in the police and learning how to handle people than I have on any courses um, that I've been through. Um, triathlon courses. My greatest achievement really is starting to do three squad and growing it from just a handful of athletes um, with a single pool session to, to what it is now with four or five venues, um, several coaches. Uh, we have over 200 active athletes, um, a good number of one-to-one -one clients and lots of new people coming into the sport. So. I think that's my greatest 
coaching achievement. I've won awards. I won um, Strapped One Avon uh, Coach of the Year Award, and District Coach of the Year Award. Uh, and also I've been um, runner up in the um, 220 Triathlon Magazine Coach of the Year Award. Um, but it's again, it's not the formal awards that kind of do it for me. It's more the success of the squad and, and, and getting new people into the sport. The squad itself, we've had a multitude of um, uh, Great Britain qualifiers um, and also lots of um, world and European medalists. Um, local uh, event wins, um, all sorts of things like that. All, almost too many to list, really. It's it's they come they come thick and fast when we have so many dedicated athletes. But um, yeah, growing the squad has been by far my greatest achievement. So standard day of mine looks like um, uh, I get up at quarter to five in the morning um, and prepare the. Uh, the board for swim squad, which starts at six. Um, so I travel, then travel to Stratford on Avon, or, or wherever it happens to be that particular day, to do the uh, to do the hour-long swim session with the squad. So we normally have between twenty and thirty athletes um, on poolside, uh, or in the pool, should say, uh, for that session. Um, that finishes at seven. Then I normally spend some time chatting to athletes afterwards before coming home and, and grabbing some breakfast before getting on with the rest of the day. Um, the rest of my day generally consists of, depending on what day it is, um, doing athlete reviews. So I'll go through all of the athlete um, training programs, training sessions, review all of their training. Um, I write my notes, which I then sent through to them. Uh, the athletes then read the notes that I've made on their training. And then we have a phone call to discuss how it's all it's all gone. So it's a very kind of joined up process. So I spend the early part of my week doing athlete reviews and phone calls. So Monday, Tuesday, usually first part of Wednesday. Um, Wednesday evening, we do one to one sessions so swim analysis, video swim analysis um, at a few locations locally. And we also have a, a, a small squad session that runs on a Wednesday evening as well. Thursdays and Fridays are usually um, kind of catch up days when we do things like this, produce videos and anything else that needs to be done really to keep the um, the squads running and the administrative side of things. Uh, and then finally, Saturdays, we have swimming and then normally have a squad breakfast and then we go to the, the track, not soon after the breakfast, but uh, um, soon after that, we go to the we go to the track. And then after that, it's uh, it's family time. So it's a pretty full packed week, never really downtime as a coach. Uh, my phone's on all the time, getting messages. Um, must get uh, must get up to fifty messages a day from various people, so it's um, it's pretty full on. But uh, it's all good stuff. And that's why we that's why we we love to do it. So where do I see my future in coaching? Um, I really just want to continue doing what we're doing with Do Three Squad. Really continuing to grow the squad, uh, bring more people into the into the sport. Um, as I said before, we have quite a few venues around the Warwickshire and the West Midlands, and I'd like to have a do three squad um, location um, or locations all around the country, really. Um, we're not a club, so we are open to any um, athletes to join. So even if you're affiliated with an existing club, we welcome you and you can use our sessions to complement your existing training. Um, so that's what I'd like to do really is continue to develop and and produce good quality sessions for athletes around the country to to get involved in um, and and continue to to bring new athletes into the sport. That's that's where I get most satisfaction from really. Um, and watching the relationships between athletes grow is, is, is really rewarding. New friends made um, and um, yeah, it's a hugely satisfying part of the job for me. Well, that's me. I hope you found that reasonably interesting. We'll be doing um, the rest of the coaches uh, over the coming uh, days and weeks. So check back if you want to find out a little bit more about the rest of the gang. Um, if you've got any more questions or anything, then uh, drop me a message in the comments below or drop us an email to uh, inquiries at do3coaching.com and um, hopefully we'll bump into you soon.